Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. This is the first illustration in my Animal ABC illustration series, and I wanted to show you a walkthrough of how I did this illustration in the Procreate app on iPad. So this first one is A for axolotl. An axolotl is a type of salamander that's found in Mexico, Central America, that region. And it's pretty unique because of the distinctive pink gill rakes on its head that it keeps even into adulthood. So a lot of people keep these as pets. I saw one at my local rainforest zoo, and this is kind of what kicked off this whole illustration series. And I'll be going through and just showing you how I did this illustration. Unfortunately, you can't really see me working on it. You'll just see the time lapse of the whole thing. I'll be posting the rest of these on my Patreon account. So this first one I wanted to share with everybody, but if you want to see the rest of these as I post them, I'd encourage you to go over to my Patreon account and sign up as a patron, and then you'll be able to see the rest as I get them done. And I'll put the link to my Patreon account below so that you can just jump right over there and check it out. So thanks for watching this and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I do uh, for these is I am working on getting the composition figured out first. And basically what I want to do with all of these is have the letter, uh, so for this one A, but I want to have the letter first, figure that out first and where it's going to be in the image and then I'll start throwing uh, the animal in there. So for this one, for the axolotl, I wanted this guy to be peeking out underneath the crossbar of that letter A. And this is what I would call the pencil stage of the process. So I'm just doing this on different layers, one layer for the letter, one layer for the animal, getting the size right, getting the composition right, where do I want the legs and everything to come out. And then I'm going to go through there and put the grass in the background. And the next stage here you can see is the inking stage where I'm working on actually going over the pencil lines with ink, with my ink brush in Procreate. So I turned off that letter A layer and then I started inking the uh, axolotl uh, animal itself. And just going through here and getting good line weight. Um, I want really clean lines for this animal. So going through there, adding some detail, not too much. Uh, my style for this is not super realistic, but not cartoony, so it's a little bit in between. Right now I'm adding the gill rakes on uh, whatever they, they call those, I think on the head of that axolotl. I think these salamanders, um, a lot of salamanders have these when they're in like the adolescent stage, but I think this certain one particular salamander keeps it throughout adulthood, those little gill rakes. So I'm just adding some detail. I'm adding some rocks there in the, in the background. And I'm going to be adding some of that seaweed type plant in the water um, in the background. So I like to do this inking stage first, and then once I've got all my inked inked parts of the image in there, then I'll uh, combine all those layers together. I had made separate layers for those elements. I will combine those all together and then I'll uh, into one layer. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out a way to um, put the A on top of the animal and have him kind of peek out underneath the A there. So you can see I'm uh, erasing the border so that the A can kind of stand on top of it. Uh, each of these images that I've done, I've put like a white border around it, and that's what I'm going to use to tie all these images together stylistically. And then here I'm just putting some detail on the rocks, not too much, I don't want this one to be too realistic. And as you can see I've got this A on a separate layer, so what I need to do is I need to mask, out, mask over the uh, inked layer for the salamander and I need to just mask over where it's going to be coming out uh, from underneath the letter A. And you'll see that here pretty soon. Okay, so next what I do is once I've got my inks, I will make a color palette for myself. And I wanted uh, this salamander to be pink, and I wanted the letter A to be yellow. So I'm going to use pink as like my dominant uh, color for the composition and then I made my secondary complementary type colors in the palette there. Got some purples and dark reds for the rocks and uh, some, some greens, darker greens for the, for the seaweed, or not the seaweed, the plants in the background. And this way it's going to um, separate all the elements of the, of the image there. I use purple for the background of the whole image. Uh, purple being the complementary color to yellow. I've got the yellow A in the foreground and the purple will be in the background. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through and just making sure I'm, I'm doing what's called color flatting. 
As you can see there, I'm just going beneath the black line art and I'm making sure I've got solid color areas because I'll use those solid color areas to do what's called masking. And then I can add some highlights and add some sh uh, shadows and different parts of color to those separate areas without having to worry about affecting the rest of the colored areas. So you can see I'm adding, I'm using color to add some shadow to the rocks in the background and I'm lightening some of the rocks to bring them out from the rest of them. The idea is like this uh, salamander is kind of like kicking off of the rocks there and so they're kind of, so he's like churning them up from the water as he's moving away underneath the letter A. And then the leaves, I'm adding some shadow to the leaves there just to give it some uh, form and dimension. And some highlights there, here and there, the purple highlights on the rocks. And then for the actual salamander itself, you see I've got the uh, shadows kind of going on for this animal. It's uh, this animal, the skin of this animal is a little bit, I don't want to say translucent, but it's it's pretty uh, pretty thin. So there's not a lot of shadow, I guess, or a lot of shade that I wanted to put on this animal. I wanted to give it the feeling of like that slime, not slimy, but that smoother um, kind of just, it's a thinner animal type thing. So that was my goal for this. Um, and what, now what I'm doing, as you can see, I am coloring the line art itself around the animal, filling the color in around the gill rakes, and I'm just picking some colors that are a little bit darker than the uh, solid colored area of the image to give it some definition, but it softens up the image a bit rather than having, you know, completely black outline for everything. Now I'm going to move on to figuring out where the letter A is going to be masked out from the uh, salamander. And I'm just kind of going around and making that selection so that you can see the parts of the salamander coming out from between the letter A there. And again, I'm just masking out on top of the white border where the letter A is going to be cut out from there. Another thing that I do is I add shadow to the border underneath the letter and the animal. And then here I'm adding some texture to the letter A itself. So I don't know if you can see it that clearly, but I've got some type of uh, organic type texture to it. And then I just, in the background, I took that purple and I mixed a gradient of like blue and purple in the background to give it the look of more, you know, it's, it's water. So to push it back further from the animal. And then I'm adding some shadow beneath the animal in the background there. And then I've got uh, the signature there at the end. Just to go over this, uh, this image, I'm, I'm messing again with some of the highlights. If you can see that. Yeah, so I just added the highlights and the shadows at the end there. But as you can see, I wanted to have a definition between the background of the image, like the, the water and the rocks. So once I had colored all that stuff, I put like a layer in between the animal and the background to give it the illusion of that atmosphere of water behind it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. That is A for Axolotl. Hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, please share it with others and with your friends. Please subscribe. And as I mentioned before, I'll be posting the rest of these walkthrough videos on my Patreon page at patreon.com. I will put the link to my page below. And again, I would encourage you guys to sign up as a patron so that you can see the rest of these as I get them done. And you can also see more stuff on that page as well. I've got different uh, behind the scenes looks at stuff I'm working on. So thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you later.